guys, what's up? Welcome back to episode 17. Uh, we got a lot going on today, so I'm on the move. Um, first of all, thank you guys so much for all the questions last week. I'm gonna get to those in just a few minutes, but first I am going to show you um, exactly why we are who we are. We're always trying to improve things on the pool deck and activities that are going on, especially with the menu in the kitchen. And starting now, starting this week, well, last week if you're watching, starting last week, we started doing a pig roast on the pool deck every Wednesday it's Cuban themed and I am just going to walk up to the kitchen as all the chefs run away from the camera and uh, we're just going to show you exactly kind of what we're doing why we're doing it and hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy this uh, when you come down on a Wednesday night Cuban themed pig roast we got Alfredo from the kitchen so we got a pig and we got you yes. what's going on Hello, well, we have the uh, Cuban-inspired uh, full roast pig. It's, uh, it's marinated, uh, been uh, brined for uh, 24 hours, and we cook it for long hours. It's like uh, two, uh, two hours, so it's slowly cooking until we get the crispy uh, skin. And we have the uh, pork loin also, and we have the pork belly. It's all about pork. The sides of the uh, Cuban rice and the beans, black beans. So we got pork, we got rice, we got beans. And we have pickled vegetables too. And anyone can order this, come for dinner. Yes. And it's going to be every Wednesday night, right? Yes, it's every Wednesday night. So if you guys like pork, I'm starving. This is driving me nuts. So you're going to go through your questions very fast, but uh, this looks awesome. So we're just getting going. This is the first one. Thank you. Thank you. All right, save some for me. All right, that looked amazing. So. Now we're going to get to all of your questions from last week. Again, thank you guys so much for, for asking all those questions, uh, for engaging with us. I love it when you guys post. So thank you guys for doing that. Um, there were quite a few questions across the different platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Vimeo. Uh, we did have quite a few questions. So I'm going to get to as many as I can. All right, so we have Joyce Bora. She asked on Facebook, when is slow season? at the resort and on the island. It's the opposite of anything pretty much in North America, maybe other than Florida and Hawaii. Our high season is pretty much from November through till April. So we say like Christmas to Easter, but November through till April is high season. And then slow season is everything outside of that. So kind of end of April, May through till October, November. If you're looking for a good deal on when to come down here, that's when your flights are gonna be the cheapest and that's when the rates are gonna be the most flexible here at the resort. Thank you, Joyce. Terry White on Facebook asked, are the new cabanas for rent like the one you filmed number 16 in? I'm assuming you're we're talking about our bird, uh, what were those, bird cages, the large nests. Uh, we do have those for rent, as well as the day beds, the one that you've probably seen me in uh, before. Those are for rent during the day. Uh, these guys are just serve yourself. And then we actually just got new cabanas, so lots for rent here. Um, if you want that little private space on the pool deck or on the beach. Thank you, Terry. All right, let's switch over to YouTube. We had some questions over there as well. If you're not following us on YouTube, definitely go do that. All right, so YouTube, we have Stephanie Glass. What took you to move to Grand Cayman? So as you guys probably know, if you've been following this series since episode one, a whole 17 episodes ago, I'm originally from the west coast of Canada on Vancouver Island and I moved down here actually two years this past February. Um, uh, it's beautiful up there and it's very relaxed and it is island time but nothing compares to white sand, blue skies every day, 365 days of the year. Thank you Stephanie for the question. We do have a question from Brenda Gentry on Facebook. She asked how the thyme infused cranberry syrup that we made in the island time last week, how we make that syrup because she wants to try it at home. So I'm gonna pop into the lobby bar here and see if I can find Lawrence to, there he is right there. All right, so let's talk to Lawrence and he'll tell us exactly how they make that syrup. Good day, sir. Hello there. So we had a question on Facebook last week from the island time beverage that we made, the syrup, the thyme infused syrup. How do we make that? Okay, so our homemade thyme and cranberry syrup is actually a simple recipe that we made in-house here. It's very easy to recreate at home. We use uh, one part of cranberry juice and also one part of white sugar. 
So here at the hotel we make our syrups in large batches because we prepare quite a lot of the cocktails, but also at home you could easily prepare it in a smaller batch also. So we take one litre of cranberry juice, one kilogram of white sugar, we heat that on a pan very much like you would with a uh, regular sugar white sugar syrup, a simple syrup, and then once it came to the boil and reduced down to about half of its size, uh, the syrup should then become thick to the touch, so we then allow that to cool down. As the syrup's cooling down, we then add the time, and then it also kind of makes like a tea infusion, like a hot infusion. Okay, so then that way, as the syrup cools down, it takes the flavor from the thyme. Once it's reached room temperature, we then straighten that off to remove any of the thyme, any of the, uh, the, the pulp that's left in there. And then when we're left with our syrup, we then place that in the fridge to cool down completely, and then it should have a shelf life of three weeks to a month. Perfect, okay. So easy to make, not complicated. Very easy to make, very much like a regular simple syrup, infused Just with the time, cranberry juice with and cranberry the cranberry in place of water, absolutely. Easy. Brenda, hopefully you got that. That's not difficult. Thanks, Lawrence. No problem. All right, we're going to wrap things up there. Next week, you are not going to want to miss what we have in store. I am going to be putting on a suit and showing you all of the non-motorized water sports that Red Sail has. Basically, one of the Red Sail employees was telling me that it's hard to do the paddle boarding and all of that. And confidently, I said, I can do that. That's a piece of cake. So they said, well, why don't you put a suit on and do it? So I'm going to put a suit on, I'm going to paddleboard, do the water bikes, sail in the hobby cats. So lots of fun stuff. This is going to be quite entertaining, especially if I go in, which I won't because I'm confident. But you'll see me in a suit doing non-motorized water sports, probably sweating a lot. So that'll be next Monday, so don't miss that. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for the questions this week. Episode 17 has been a blast. I'm going to go get some of that pork uh, from the Cuban pig roast. Everyone have a great, great week. And we will talk to you next Monday. Don't miss it. And uh, enjoy your week.